What is happening peeps and welcome back to a new review video. This time we have Netflix's new original flick The Harder They Fall, a movie or a story that is so amazing, so unpredictable and just keeps you on the edge of your seat from the beginning to the end. Most of the aspects about the story and the movie was great for me, apart from I think one aspect that I'm going to get into in a little bit. But every other thing about the film was spectacular. The action, the drama, the sequence of events, the soundtrack and music, it was all just fitting perfectly in most of the scenes in it. And one of the aspects that made this movie stand out so much was the amazing cast that it had in it. Of course, there is Idris Elba, Regina King, uh, Lakeith Stanfield, Dilroy Lindo, who always puts down a memorable performance every time he's, he's on screen. Uh, Dion Cole, whom is the first time that I see in a movie and he did amazingly for his performance. Damon Wayans Jr., Eddie Gathagi, Zazie Beats, and of course, Jonathan Majors. I really admire Jonathan's presence a lot of the times and especially after seeing him in this movie and now I get why he's been getting such big roles and important or starring roles in movies and in series like the role of Kang in Loki series and uh, a starring role as well in the five bloods he brings in a very unique and cool style and charisma in his role and you just root for his character in this one and you just enjoy his presence all in all from the delivery of his lines to the action scenes to the dramatic performances especially in the end when he faces off with Idris Elba. Literally he was the star of this show and he delivered his performance perfectly. And Idris Elba of course brings in the strong presence of the villain in this one. Although we don't get to see much of him throughout the film but it doesn't take much from the vibe or the feel of it too. Because there are already other great actors with each of them delivering or having their own contribution to the story. For the movie in general although it had amazing scenes, good dialogue and chemistry between the actors, it did feel quite slow and dragging in some parts. This is the only thing that I feel a little bit off with. Some scenes could have been shortened easily without making much difference to the story or the feel of the film. In fact, it might have even made it better if they had shortened these scenes a little bit. The action set pieces were brilliant too and the music just puts you in the emotions of the scenes from the action to the drama to everything. It was all just splendid. So some parts were unpredictable and that gave a more appeal and an edge of the seat feel to how the story was going. Then the ending was very powerful and had a great twist as well. That part was the most unpredictable for me. Although it was a revenge story but not the conventional type that we see in or we saw in the other movies before and uh, the interaction between Idris and Jonathan and their performances was outstanding. And then towards the end we got the last scene where it showed uh, after Jonathan Majors and Zazie Beats were riding their horses away and uh, we see a glimpse of someone like appearing from the camera which is uh, treacherous Trudy and uh, that gave a feel that there's going to be a second part and so far it's only speculations and talks and opinions theories and so in general it was a revenge story told in an amazing sequence of events drama and action i would definitely give it seven out of ten popcorns and i would even say that this movie would have been better to be seen in the cinema first because it's a memorable one everything about it especially when it comes to the sound effects and the music and uh, the action scenes all of that needed to be seen in a big screen and so yeah this was my review for netflix's the harder they fall and let me guys know what did you think about this movie did you like it or dislike it what aspects drew you more or pushed you away from this film or from the story itself and uh, if there are any more points that you wanted to discuss about the, uh, some of the aspects that I mentioned here or if you have any more ideas that I didn't mention in this one, please drop them all in the comments below. I would very much love to read your opinions and what you have to say about this one. And until I see you guys in the next video, thank you very much for watching. Have a splendid day and peace out.